Have you ever lain awake at night wondering how much faster an Intel 486 DX4 overdrive is over a Cyrix DX2 in a DOS compatible Macintosh Performa? Well, that's an important question I'm sure many of us struggle with from time to time. But no more, because in this video you'll finally get a definitive answer to that question. So stick around for a thorough benchmark of the Cyrix DX2 versus the Intel DX4 overdrive on Apple's DOS compatible 68K Mac from 1995. Okay, so I may have exaggerated just a tiny little bit in the intro, but still, I was curious to find out how big of a difference this upgrade would make, since it's pretty much the fastest CPU upgrade you can put in this machine. So this is gonna be a pretty simple video. I'm gonna run some baseline benchmarks on the 66 megahertz Cyrix DX2, and then I'm gonna swap in the Intel DX4 overdrive and run the same benchmarks on it and show you what the differences are. And for good measure, I'm gonna also throw in the results with the Intel's version of the 66 MHz DX2, which some of these DOS cards shipped with. So let's get started. All right, so uh, first off, let's benchmark the current CPU that's in here, which is the Cyrix 486 DX2 running at 66 MHz. I've downloaded Phil's Computer Lab's excellent package of benchmarks here. Let's have a look at system information. So, um, yeah, as you can see here, the main processor is the Cyrix 486 at 66 megahertz that uh, these machines were sold with. And we have the maximum of 32 megabytes of, of RAM for the uh, PC card. So can't upgrade that any further. Let's have a look at the benchmarks in here as well. So the CPU speed, uh, so we get a, a baseline here of 113.1. Let's just go through these. All right, uh, the disk benchmark, this isn't gonna be all that useful since uh, the PC in this DOS compatible Macintosh runs of a disk image. And data transfer rate is around one megabyte per second, which is kind of crappy to be honest. So overall performance index puts us at 78.2. So let's start with the 3D bench. All right, so we got a baseline of 19.2 here in 3D bench. Let's run the PC player benchmark as well. And we got a score of eight. Great. Okay, so let's run the Doom benchmark. I'm gonna run the uh, uh, the max details one here. All right, so we got 2134 game ticks in 5980 real ticks. Let's do the Quake time demo as well. I expect the biggest difference to be in Quake because Quake uses the FPU, which is supposedly a lot better in the Intel CPUs than it is in the Cyrix ones. Okay, so we got the uh, score from Quake here uh, at 5.1 frames per second. Blazingly fast. Okay, so that's the baseline. Yes, I want to quit. So there's one more thing I want to compare and that is Descent. So let's see how it runs here on the baseline. Oh, come on. 
yeah, playing the sound with the keyboard is not great. And it runs, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's barely playable, I'd say. Alright, so that's it for the bass lines. So uh, let's go ahead and get that DX4 overdrive in here. Okay, so let's hope that the PC still starts. And it looks like it does. Nice. And going into DOS. Oh yeah, it works. Awesome. 8486DX, 100 megahertz. Let's look at the benchmarks. CPU speed, 127.9. That's interesting. That's not all that much faster than the uh, 66 megahertz one. Disk speed shouldn't be any different. Yeah, it's exactly the same. And that's the same. So that's interesting. The, this benchmark doesn't seem to uh, indicate any higher speed than the 66 megahertz 486. So let's try 3D bench. Okay, so that's a little bit better. I think we were at 19.2 before. So uh, yeah, we got about 10% improvement there. So that's interesting. Okay, let's have a look at PC player benchmark. So we got 10 here. So that's actually 25% uh, better than the Cyrix. So that's uh, definitely an improvement. All right, so let's run the Doom benchmark on the DX4 overdrive. So that puts us at 2134 game ticks in 58. 28 real takes. So the frame rate for the Doom benchmark can be calculated by dividing the number 74,690 by the reported real takes. So in this case, 74,690 over 5,828 gives us about 12.8 frames per second. Interestingly, the Cyrix was actually faster than the Intel 486 in Doom, and the Overdrive was just barely faster than the Cyrix. Interested to hear if anyone has any theories as to why that is, so leave a comment if you do. Let's have a look at Quake. So in Quake we got 7.5 frames per second, so that's a definite improvement. Close to 50% better. We were at about 5 frames per second for the Cyrix CPU, I think. So finally, let's have a look at how much improvement we got in Descent. This, this is actually a lot better than it was on the Cyrix CPU. It was barely playable on the Cyrix, but here it's, uh, I mean, it's, the frame rate isn't uh, stellar, but it's perfectly playable now. Ooh, I want those. So that's pretty much it for this DOS compatible Macintosh upgrade comparison between the Cyrix DX2 and the Intel DX4 Overdrive. Probably not the most useful benchmark video you've ever watched, but uh, still, I hope someone found it interesting. And if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel for more questionably useful benchmarks of odd and obsolete stuff in the future, as well as other retro computing related ventures. But that's all for now, so uh, take care and see you next time.